Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we look at the differences between Python 2 and Python 3 when it comes to the comparison operators less than greater than or not equal. So in Python 2 we can compare two values by using this comparison operators. We can say for instance 2 less than or greater than four. In this case, we'll get a Boolean result of true or false. So this will give us true since two is less than four. Whereas if we say four is less than or greater than four, we'll get false since four is not less than or greater than four. We can also use this comparison operators in if conditions. For instance, we can say if 2 is less than or greater than 5, we can say print 2 is less than 5. Or else, else, we can say print 2 must be equal to 5. So if we run it, we get the first print statement, 2 is less than 5. So this is how we would compare two values in Python 2 by using this comparison operators less than or greater than, also known as not, not equal. So this is not supported in Python 3. In Python 3, we use the not equal sign, so exclamation equal. It stands for not equal. That's its equivalent in Python 3. For instance, we can say 3 not equal to 5. So in Python 3, this would give us true. We can also use this not equal in Python 2 also. So if I run this, it will evaluate to true. It works in Python also but this is strictly for comparison in Python 3 the less than or greater than symbol to compare two values don't work in Python 3 okay similarly if I say 4 is not equal to 5 this will give us false I mean this will give us true sorry Whereas if I say 5 is not equal to 5, this will be false. So th that's for comparing two values. What if we have more than two values? So we can say 2, two is less than or greater than 5 is less than or greater than 9, for instance. So if we run this, it will give us true. Since 2 is less than 5, and 5 is less than 9, less than or equal to 9. So this will evaluate to true. Let's run it. So that will give us true. Whereas if I have, let's say, 2 is less than or greater than 4, is less than or greater than 4, that will be false, since 4 is not less than or greater than 4. That will be false. And the equivalent, it's equivalent in Python 3 would be 2 is not equal to not equal to 4. You can use another not equal to 4. So this would be false in Python 3. Since the second part is not true. So if we run it, we get false, whereas if we have a different value, we'll get true. So that's the difference between Python 2 and Python 3 when it comes to this comparison operators, less than or greater than. Okay, next, let's look at, next, let's look at the long data type. You remember that floating point numbers are numbers that have decimal points. 
So for instance, this is an example of a floating point number or simply floats 3.4, 3.0, negative 0 0.9. So these are all examples of floating point numbers. And non floating point numbers do not have any decimal points. And in Python 2, we have two different data types for non floating point numbers, which are integers and long. So these are the two data types in Python 2 for non floating point numbers. The only difference between long and integer is that we include the letter L to denote a long data type and long data types are longer than integers. So an example of an integer can be, this is an integer 2453 and an example of a float is a number or an integer followed by L. So this is a long data type. And if we want to check the type, we can say type, and then we get it's a long data type. Then if we pass the same type function to this number, we'll see that it's an integer. So this is in Python 2. For non-floating point numbers, we have the integer data type and the long data type. Whereas in Python 3, we only have the integer data type for non-floating point numbers. We don't have long data type in Python 3. Okay, only integers in Python 3. And we can save integers in some variables. Let's say number is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the same in both Python 2 and Python 3, right? I'm just saving this integer in a variable called number. And if I want to convert this number into a long data type in Python 2, I can say long and then pass the number. And that will give me the long data type of the number. So I'm casting it into the long data type. This is only in Python 2. In Python 3, we don't have any long function since the long data type doesn't exist in Python 3. So in Python 3, we can only cast non floating point numbers to integers. So we can cast whatever number we want and then pass it to the integer function. So that will give you, that will convert this number to an integer. So that's what you would use in Python 3. There is no long function. And to check the type of, let's call number again. So if I want to check what kind, what data type this number is, I can simply say type and then pass the number. We see that it's an integer. So we do the same thing in Python 3. And there is, we can also use the is statement or is to check if a certain variable or number is a certain data type. So let me show you what I mean. We can say type of our number, we can say is integer. So we can, do, we can use the is, so is type of the number of object an integer. So if it's an integer, we'll get true. If not, we'll get false. So our number is an integer. So in this case, it will, this will return to true. So it's true. Okay. So that's what we'll use in both Python 2 and Python 3 integer. But in Python 2, there's an additional method for longs. So we can say is type of our number object a long data type? This will be false. So this is only in Python 2. And another 
way of checking if a number is of an integer data type we can use the is instance method you can say is instance of our number an integer data type so this will return to true because our number is an integer right so we can use the statement in both python 2 and python 3 since we are checking for since we are checking if our number is an is of an integer data type in python 2 i can also check for long data types is the instance of my number a long data type so this will be false and if i change our number to a long and then now if I call my number, it's okay. Let's save this long number and we save this in number L for long. Now, if we call num L, we have a long number, right? Now, if I call the is instance of my number L a long data type, this will be true, right? And if I check if it's of an integer data type, this will be false. Great. So that's the difference between Python 2 and Python 3 when it comes to the long data type. The long data type doesn't exist in Python 3. We only have the integer data type in Python 3 for non-floating point numbers. Great. In the next lecture, we look at more functions in Python 2 versus Python 3. Thank you everyone.